do you want to know about high paying entry level work from home jobs? In fact, tell me if you're interested in knowing about worldwide high paying work from home jobs that can help you earn a full time income. You can work from anywhere in this world and still earn a full time income. It does not matter whether you are based in the US, UK, India, Philippines, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, anywhere in this world and you can earn a full time income. And when I say full time income, I am talking somewhere around $3,000, $5,000 or $10,000 in a month. You can take up the remote jobs or the online jobs that I am going to talk about in this video and grow up to $10,000 a month and more. In this video, I will also share a few secret tips with you from my own freelancing journey, share companies that are always hiring and a few other secret courses, resources and downloadables that you can get for free and they can help you grow faster. So if you're interested, stay along and watch this entire video. Hi guys, I am Shavi, the owner and blogger of Mrs. Jaku Studio, a blog where we talk all about making money online and working from home. If you haven't already, click on the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. If you want to get notified each time a new video is uploaded and you do not want to miss out any of the work from home leads that we talk about, do not forget to click on the bell icon below. So let's get started. But before we talk about this worldwide work from home jobs, I have a question for you. I want to know why you want to work from home. I was working as an attorney in Bangalore and what made me realize was the lack of time that I had for my own hobbies, my family, my friends, my love for traveling. I had no time left for these things and that is what made me realize that I want to start working from home and have an online business that lets me live a location independent life. What is your why? What is your reason of starting out as a work from home job? I want to know about it. I want you to go below and comment on this video with your why. I'm eagerly looking to read what is your driving factor. So please scroll down and comment on this video. The first job that I want to talk about is transcriptionist. So what is transcription? Transcription is when a company or a business gives you audio or video files and you have to type out what's being talked about in that audio file or video file. It is basically converting audio or video into text scripts. You have the patience, the ability to sit for a long period of time and an eye for detail. This work from home job that pays well is definitely meant for you. So there are two types of transcription services that I want to talk about, general transcription and legal transcription. I'm not going to touch upon medical transcription as in my opinion, it is not a very lucrative work from home job. General transcription services is the practice of transcribing from audio and video files from all different types of industries, such as academic industry, marketing, interviews, films, and others. Legal transcription services requires all of the skills necessary as a general transcriptionist with the added knowledge of legal terminology and documentation. Transcriptions are in in demand but not highly explored industry. That means you have higher chances of landing high paying clients and have a successful stay at home job. How much can you make with being a transcriptionist? Well, it depends upon how much time you're ready to put in and how much effort you're ready to put in learning the skills of the industry. You can easily earn up to thousand dollars a month with added efforts and you can make a full time income of 5000 and more if you are ready to put in everything that you have in building an online business. If you're interested in transcription from home or if you're wondering what all it includes and what kind of skills you need to begin with a transcription business from home. Check out the free courses by Transcribe Anywhere on general transcription and legal transcription. I'm going to link both of these courses in the description box below. So if you are interested, do not forget to check them out. They're absolutely free of cost and they are gem of a course for you to learn about transcription. If you are a beginner transcriptionist, I advise you to start out with rev transcription 
or go transcript and get acquainted with work and see if you're interested in taking it up full time. These are two companies that are always looking for transcriptionists and they always hire beginner transcriptions to take up work for their clients. Of course, the pay is not great, but if you are ready to put in a lot of hours into it, you can definitely make up $2,000 of at least $500 in a month easily. If you are interested in transcription, if you like the kind of work that you do on Go Transcript or Ref Transcription, I advise you take up transcription as a full time business and start independently. It is when you start independently and look for clients outside of companies like Go Transcript and Ref Transcription, outside of any platform or job boards, it is then that you can make a full time income working from home. Second one that I want to talk about is online tutoring. Online tutoring is the, one of the most popular entry level work at home job right now. There are so many platforms that allow you to teach online to students. Some of the best companies that hire online tutors will definitely require you to have at least a bachelor's degree, even if you have absolutely no teaching experience before. That said, there are many other companies that hire without a degree as well. I recommend you sign up with VIP Kid and read my review on the blog Mrs. Taco Studio. With VIP Kid, you can earn $22 an hour and your job would be to teach English to kids aged 5 to 7 years or 5 to 12 years old in China who are looking to learn English. Besides VIP Kid, there is also QKids and tutor.com. I will link to all these three in the description box below, so do not forget to check them out. There is one thing that I forgot to tell you about VIP Kid. VIP Kid requires you to have a bachelor's degree. So if you do not have a bachelor's degree, there is no point in applying for VIP Kid as they are not going to entertain you. The third one that I want to talk about is data entry. I'm pretty sure that you have already heard about this worldwide work from home job a lot of times. Data entry is a popular remote job. This is one of the easiest to get when you're starting out. In fact, this could easily be one of your first work from home job. While inputting data for businesses isn't very exciting, you do not require any previous experience or training to start off this job. That is the beauty of data entry. You can easily earn $15 an hour and more as you gain experience. Some of the companies that are always hiring data entry professionals is MDoc, Clickworker, Exion Data, and Quickbit. I'm going to link to all these four companies in the description box below. The next one is working as a website tester. This is an easy work from home job to back, but you may not find regular work. So I do not advise to take it up individually or take it up in isolation. You have to take up something else along with being a website tester. You do not require an engineering degree to become a work at home tester. What you need to do is to navigate around new websites and give your feedback on functionality, user friendliness, etc. The task will be given to you and you will have to record a 5 minute to 10 minute video talking about what is good about the website or what is bad about the website, what is working, what is not working and your, um, your views on its functionality and user friendliness. To get started with any website testing job, you will require three things, a webcam, a microphone, and a laptop or a computer. In fact, that is something which you require for all work from home jobs, except for a webcam. Of course, that is a specific requirement for being a website, for being a website tester. You can join companies like What Users Do, Try My UI, User Testing, Loop 11. I'm going to link to all four of these companies in the description box below. You can go check it out and apply to them. The fifth one and my favorite one is freelance writing. If you like writing, you can work from home anywhere as a freelance writer. As a freelance writer, you will be helping businesses or bloggers write content. It could be a blog post, report, ebook, white paper, website copy, or a media release. You can easily earn $5,000 and up writing for online businesses. In fact, I will link to a course below. It is a paid for resource. It is created by Holly who makes more than $250,000 
in a year writing for others and she shares a lot of her secrets in this course yes it is a paid course so it depends upon you whether you want to invest in yourself right now or not but whenever you are ready to invest in it i recommend you check this out specifically if you do not want to spend any money in learning her ta tactics or spend any money on a course right now you can grab my free six day email course and a detailed blog post that i will link in the description box below Putting both of them together, you can learn how to start off the right way and earn $1,000 in a month ASAP. You can find freelance writing gigs on boards like Blogging Pro and Pro Blogger. I recommend you check out Pro Blogger because that is one of the most amazing freelance writing gig job boards that I have come across. When I started out, I landed a lot of jobs that paid me. A lot of money. In fact, one of those clients that I backed from Pro Blogger paid me five hundred dollars for a two thousand word article. I have landed a lot of gigs like these, so I recommend you check out Pro Blogger. While these are great ways of landing freelance writing gigs, in my opinion, you need to learn how to directly pitch clients your freelance writing services. It can help you land clients faster and it can also help you land high paying clients faster and make freelance writing career a sustainable one so two three things that i want to sum up for freelance writing first thing first select a niche you need to niche down what you want to write about you can be a general writer because then in the opinion of clients you are jack of all trades and master of none so you do not want that happening you want to select a niche so niche can be of two types. You can either decide to be a blog post writer, white paper writer, case study writer, etc. Or you can be a technology writer, marketing writer, or a cooking related writer, etc. I'm going to link a lot of blog posts in the description box below. It may not make sense to you right now, but if you go through all those blog posts, it will make complete sense. The second thing that I want you to do is to start a services website. If you start out with Bluehost or Hostgator, it is really cheap. It is somewhere around $2.95 a month. And you need to have a services website. When you are starting out as a freelance writer and you're working from home, there has to be an online presence because you're not physically meeting anybody. You're not going to office or you're not meeting people anywhere else. You're meeting people online and you need an online presence for yourself and for convincing clients that you're worth hiring. The third tip is to build a portfolio. If you do not have any live links right now, you can take up a topic that interests your audience, that interests your target clients and write two to three articles and combine them in a PDF. You can share this PDF as a sample, but while you're doing this, I would also recommend you look for guest posting opportunities. The last point is that while you can bag a lot of jobs off freelance writing job boards like pro blogger you need to learn how to directly pitch clients i'm going to link to my ebook in the description box below it's a paid book but i have shared all my secrets i've also shared all the pitches that have worked personally for me or you get all of that in that book so you can check that out if you follow all these tips you can speed up the process and come up to five thousand dollars in a month easily the next one and the final one that we are going to talk about is becoming a virtual assistant. This is a hot industry right now. If you are looking for work at home jobs, if you're looking for worldwide work at home jobs, this is the time to become the virtual assistant. This is the right time to become the virtual assistant in my opinion. If you have absolutely no experience and you are looking for entry level work at home jobs, virtual assistant is your best bet. First, it is extremely sustainable and a lot of entrepreneurs need a good virtual assistant. Secondly, you can offer more than 150 plus services as a virtual assistant. I will link to a PDF below that lists out all these 150 services. But to give you an overview, you can offer content writing, content marketing, Facebook ads, managing, Pinterest managing, social media management, blog management, email management, customer service, affiliate program management, product launch, etc. There are four resources that I recommend. The first one is Breaking into VA by Gina Hockey. If you have searched a little bit about 
virtual assistants online, you have heard about Gina Hockey. Breaking into VA is a webinar that you need to watch because she talks about how to start off as a virtual assistant, why it is such a hot industry right now and how you can grow. Similarly, there is one more by Gina and Kirsten on how to make money on Pinterest as a Pinterest virtual assistant. Now, Pinterest is a platform that is used by a lot of businesses and bloggers to attract traffic to their own websites and make sales. So it is a hot platform right now. And if you can learn how to drive traffic from that platform to a business's website, then you can make a lot of money. Pinterest VAs charge somewhere between $500 to $700 in for managing one Pinterest account. And the amount of time that you need to spend on it is just one or two hours in a month. The third one is Become Booked Out by Abby. She talks about how to always have clients as a virtual assistant. The last one is Becoming a Work at Home Mom by Michaela. Now this is a very specific course. If you are a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad, or if you are somebody who cannot manage a lot of time during the day, if you're busy with something in your life and you can only take out a certain amount of hours, even if you have a nine to five and then you want to start off as a side hustle, this course is talks exactly how to become a virtual assistant, being a mom or being a dad or being really busy in your life. So it, it caters to a specific audience. If you have less time, then this is the course that you need to check out. It's a free webinar by Michaela and it provides a lot of value on how to start off, how to find time, how to get started with it, how to understand what needs to be done in the time that you have uh, decided for yourself, etc. You can also check out Fancy Hands, Time, etc. and Virtual Office VAs if you're looking for companies that are always hiring virtual assistants. There you go. This is all for today. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and family and do not forget to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. I hope you like the video and we'll see you next time.